Introducing the all new Corolla. Vice Speaker BJ Cruz's Bill 316 would raise the minimum wage on Guam from $7.25 an hour now to $10.10 an hour by 2017. Intent on stopping that from happening, the Guam Chamber of Commerce today brought together a group of small businessmen and women who opposed the bill. Hank DeCanny questioned the right that Gov Guam has to tell him how much to pay his eight employees. I have eight employees. I have an employee that started working for me last year and I was paying him seven thirty five an hour. A year has gone by. There's nothing stopping a business from giving that particular employee a raise. He's making eight oh five now an hour. And a year has gone by. What gives the government a right to force us to tell us how much to pay individuals that has no skills? I, I, don't, I don't understand why are they putting their foot in the door when they have nothing to do with running my business. Jerry Paulino runs the tax shelter. He's intimately familiar with the financial struggles faced by island small businesses. The biggest problem these guys have is that they have three employees. You raise the minimum wage, they might come down to one employee. So the same owner of the mom and pop store say, I, I spend about, I wake up at four in the morning and I, I, I'll spend about maybe 10, 12 hours. Now I have to put 15 hours to survive. And Joe Roberto of Island Tinting says the politics of re-election is motivating the senators who support the minimum wage hike. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, November. There's your motivation. It's the election. That is the motivation. Lorraine Okada owns Okada Consulting and is a member of the Women's Chamber. She was in charge of planning the Women's Chamber Forum, at which Senator Cruz's minimum wage hike bill was first publicly introduced. She says she was surprised it was on the agenda before the need for a hike in the minimum wage had been fully analyzed and discussed. What was surprising was at the forum the bill was introduced. So I guess it was like, um, oh I thought we were supposed to get information. I mean you know the whole purpose of the, the forum was to get good accurate data, what is the economic impact, what are the studies, is there really a need for minimum wage increase and what drives that need? Vice Speaker Cruz has already expressed his intention to bring his minimum wage bill to the floor for a vote sometime in the next few months. He has expressed confidence he has the votes to pass it, but not with a veto-proof majority. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.